circuit here uh, for operating the LED through the push of a button. So the circuit here is to show you the 5 volts is supplied through a resistor uh, to the common cathode of this LED. I am using the RGB LED so you can replace the same with a normal 5 volts LED and uh, still use it. And to the anode and to, from the cathode of one of the LEDs I have connected to the short side of the push button so you see this is the short side and that's the long side so the short side on push of a button is forms a connection so I have tapped the other terminal to the ground and I have connected it to the ground so what happens when I push the button is this so LED glows when you press the button and this is a very basic circuit so I can show the same circuit using my other switch so what I'll do is like I'll remove this push button and I'll replace with this so one thing that I need to be careful about I have replaced the push button with, with this type of push button switch which holds to its position once it is pressed so this is so I'm gonna press the button and you see the LED is not going up so the button doesn't seem to be holding it in position on the bread post so I just hold it like that and when I release the button the LED glows when I push the button the LED doesn't go I can do the same thing the button doesn't go when I push the button it will close so that's about the switch and interfacing the LED and to begin with our experiment which is interfacing the switch to our microcontroller I would again log into mlegerobotronics.in and navigate to general electronics section and if I scroll down I can see a section called interfacing switch to a music so here we have uh, two different configurations of uh, interfacing the switch that is using a 10k resistor in series with a switch and the other one is directly using a switch to the music so I am uh, using I'll show you how we can do uh, both the ways so what I'm gonna quickly do is I'm quickly gonna rig up the circuit and program uh, my microcontroller to operate the LEDs only when I press the button. So I have uh, formed a switch connection as per my first uh, configuration that is shown in my site. So we have a push button here have a 10k resistor in series which is carrying a 5 volt supply to one of the ends of the terminal and the other end is connected to a common point from which the input of the switch is fed to the port 3 0 pin okay and Coming to the last terminal, which is the other end of the switch, is connected to our ground. So, what happens is when I switch, when I press the switch, uh, my, my microcontroller should read the status of this switch and turn on these LEDs. So, how I'm gonna do that? I'm just gonna write a code. So this is the code that I wrote for blinking the LEDs like you see now. So this code is flashing my LEDs in this particular order. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change it so only when I press the button the LEDs glow in this format. So this is the code that I've written to 
operate my LED when I press the button. So the condition here is first I'm making P3 as an input port by assigning a high pin to the port and then I'm checking if P30 is equal to zero that is if I'm pressing a button. So what happens when I press a switch is that my uh, input pin is shorted to the ground. So it will short to the ground and provide a zero volt so this condition is true and then my LED glows in that fashion that saw in the video and then it operates so I'm gonna quickly bring this and I'm gonna flash this so I'm gonna reset my device and yes the code is completed Coming back to the circuit, see now, I press the reset button so that the device is ready and now when I press the switch, the LED should operate, so I 5 volts. Okay, so when I press this button, the LED should blink. So there you see the LED blinking, so I release the switch, LED is off, press the switch, the LED blinks, release the switch, it is off. So this way, so this way you can connect as many switches as you want which is your basic digital input device and you can interface your LEDs which is your basic digital output devices. So you can replace these LEDs with any other device which needs to operate. So probably you can replace this LEDs with a motor driver circuit. You can replace the LEDs with a motor driver circuit wherein instead of driving the LEDs, you can drive the motors. So for the basic robotic operation you need motors and you can use the same you can use the same principle there. So you switch an input device, your LED, an output device. So we've just learned how we can interface a switch and an LED. We have just learned how we can interface an LED and a switch in your project. So these devices can be expanded to whatever other digital devices that you want and the sky is the limit for interfacing the devices that you want. Thanks guys, thanks for watching. Please leave your comments below and uh, do share uh, your feedback on this particular tutorials and if you have any requests you can log into emilyrobotronics.in and the forum section you can just post your comments regarding the tutorials that you would want me to do it for you.